Romans, in the New Testament, you said, let's go back to the New Testament. In the New Testament, it said he loves us and hates you. Romans ah. 8, 1. It's going it's to say that he loves you. saw in Romans 8, 1. What do you want from Romans 8, 1? Romans 8, 1. All right, well, let's see what it says. Is he just drawing out the hat? Why not? This is Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. Therefore, uh, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Jesus Christ, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life is Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. hath made you yeah. free from the law of sin and death. There we yeah. go. So we're not going to be condemned because we yeah. walk in the spirit of Christ. You don't. Love. You love Christ? Christ? Is my Savior. Do you love Christ? What do you save you from? Get on your knees. Get on your knees right now. On your knees. All right. You know what? And tell I him, love thank my you. Lord Christ. Thank do, you, you. do you love his people? Now. Stay do you down. love his people? Stay down. Don't, Get up. Don't come close. Do you, do you right love, here. Do you love his people? Right here. Give it up. Hey, Give hey, it right up to him. Tell him. Get down. Get back down. Yeah, get back Mom. down. Now. Get back down. Get I'll get down. Come on. Get back down come on. Y'all are here preaching hate. Who's preaching hate? Who's preaching hate? Who's preaching hate? Did we come out here to stop you? Did we come out here to talk to you? Did we come out here to talk to you? No, we came out here to talk to our people. We came out here to spread love to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The same people your people been hating for the last half a millennia. The same people your people done enslaved for the last half a millennia. The same people your people done straight robbed and murdered for half a goddamn millennia. Yo, get the fuck out of my face. Don't get in my face. Don't get in my face. Don't get in my face. Motherfucker. Hey, you trying to die tonight? You trying to die tonight? What's up? What's up? Shoot me, motherfucker. Come on. Shoot me. Shoot me. Hey. Shalom, all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the hopeful elect, and this short lesson is going to be entitled, Hebrew Israelites, many of you have attention deficit disorder, okay, and just real quick, I wanted to mention, you know, you saw the two clips from uh, the Sicarian Phoenix, first one was Sicarian Phoenix, pulling out a basically reaching for the for the for the heat that they was packing at camp right to get rid of the lights of some drunken Edomite and then you see IUIC the opportunists that they are marching down the street right marching down the street at, behind the masons 
somewhere at a rally. And then you also have, uh, what's these guys here? These guys right here. One body in Yahweh Shy at the Dallas protest. And it's just something about have, wanting to garner attention and be out, you know, being seen. Teaching the word is not enough for Jake. Simply teaching the word is not enough for Jake speaking when it comes to these rallies. And, and it's also reported, and I've seen, Sakari is also either at Minneapolis, they're somewhere. They, you know, they, they're somewhere getting in the, and Jake has just got to be in the middle of, of the drama. Always. That's why I say a lot of you Jakes, man, you got attention deficit disorder. And I don't give a shit if you get mad. You can say, we, why y'all coming against your brothers? You really got no reason to be out there, man. I mean, bottom line. If you're going to teach the gospel, post up and teach the word. But really, just teaching the word is not enough. You feel like you're going to find some fruit out there among the two-thirds, ripping and running at riots? It, it's just a bad look. Now, this picture says black Hebrew Israelites in full uniform at Dallas protest. Looting just started. All right? You see it. You see it. And I also mentioned it in the other video. You see? And you also had IUIC. <clears throat> which we, you know, we played the clip in the beginning. Here they are. Marching in the streets. They and they and they love doing that. That's this is for attention. See? And really it's the same group, because you can see that they Masonic regalia from the first guys in the front. And it's a, it's other ones that also have it on. It's no point for this. What is that all about? Looking like military, being out there among the two thirds. You know, and it's just it's just a bad look, man. It's just a bad look. In any event, going back dealing with the Sakari, and, and you know what, and, and really with dealing with all of this, I'm gonna read Romans 10 and 1. It says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the most high for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to knowledge. And when you go out there and you and, and going back to Sakari, Sakari Phoenix, and before we Let's make sure we mention it in the, in the right perspective because in the, in the state of Arizona, which I used to live in, in Phoenix, and this is Sakari Phoenix, in the state of Arizona, in which I used to live, it is lawful to carry a firearm openly, okay? They have an open carry law in Phoenix. So let's be fair on that. Now, at the same time, why would your whole camp, everybody in the camp, even in the state that you can open carry, why would you have a pistol on your hip at camp? And you're going to get the gospel blamed. And we'll read that scripture. And furthermore, this guy was clearly drunk. And the video is about six minutes long, which I only played a small portion of it. But when you watch the video, the guy was cussing him out, walking by. And they called him back over there to try to cut him with the scriptures. That's what it was all about. But then the guy says in the video, we ain't out here to teach you. But what, why did you call him over there? And you was going off in doctrine because you said, when we keep the commandments, then we go to the kingdom of heaven. And that's, that's false. He was going off. But Jake is so ready to to want to look. Hey, he's right here. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. He was going off in doctrine. And verse three, for they for they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. And that's all you guys, man. These these guys right here not moving wisely, not using wisdom. Right? Telling the man to get down. You love that. IUIC in the march, in the midst of, you know, right there with no chaos breaking out. But what if some chaos breaks out while you out there marching? See? That's not wise, man. And they're doing that because they want to show, they're trying to establish their own righteousness. They want you to, you know, people to see that and be like, oh, man, they out there among the people. They're not afraid. And all the scriptures told you to do was preach the word. It never told you to get all together and go out in the streets and fucking march. It never told you to assemble all together and go out there like you goddamn Transformers or Power Rangers. And you Jakes do that, man, because you're trying to establish your own righteousness. And I don't give a shit. If your followers get mad, I don't give a fuck. So what? Let's look at the word. Attention deficit disorder. Attention deficit disorder. Any range of behavioral disorders occurring primarily in children. And in this case, a bunch of badass kids, including such symptoms as poor concentration, hyperactivity, and impuls impulsivity. 
And when you go and you sit, assemble together, you did that on an impulse. You want attention, you're hyperactive in my opinion, right? Same thing with, with, with these Jakes and same thing with Sakari. Same thing with, the, with, with uh, uh, Israel United and then even that. And we could go all day dealing with that. Even with Israel United and so-called Christ looking like toy soldiers. It's, it's really ridiculous, man. Somebody goes, you, you hating on your brothers. No, they're going off. They're going outside of the instructions that was given. All we're supposed to do is teach the word. When did the Lord ever do this? When did this, the Lord and the 12 disciples get in formation and go out into the streets marching? When did the, the Lord and the disciples ever, right, uh, uh, try to ward off somebody from attacking them with weapons? Other than when Peter cut the ear off of Malchus and then the Lord told him, put your sword again in this place. Did he not say that now? Again here, everybody in the camp reached for their gun when this guy, and, and, and really, the dude, let's go to it. You got to be fair, man. Yeah, he's an Edomite. He may be an Edomite. Now you pushed the man first. Look, you pushed him first. Then you pushed him. Then you roll up and pack, reaching for your heat. Then he pretended like he got heat, which I don't think the guy had a weapon. But I don't know that. Look at Jake over here. He got his gun out. So is everybody going to blaze on the, on the guy? Everybody in the camp is reaching for their heat. Why are you doing that? If any one of you guys could have beat the stuffing out of this dude. But you, you struck first. You pushed him. And see, Jake, you got a way of only seeing things one way. Let's let's look at it again. You have a way of only seeing things one way, man. Let's turn the volume on. Don't get in my face. Don't get in my face. Don't get in my face. Motherfucker. Hey, you trying to die tonight? Hey. You trying to die tonight? Yeah. What's up? Huh. What's up? Shoot me, motherfucker. Hey, Come on. on. I mean, it's just ridiculous, man. These things ought to never happen. And that's... That is, but see, Jake, you need attention. You need something to garner praise for yourself. And, this, and that's the opposite of what the scriptures want us to do. Do not the scriptures say he must increase, I must decrease. Attention deficit disorder is a neurological disorder that causes a range of behavior problems, such as difficulty attending to instruction. What's the instructions? Preach the gospel. You have a difficulty do, just doing that. You have to do something to draw attention to yourself. Everybody got heat. This guy got his out. And in Phoenix, it is legal to carry a firearm. It is legal to open carry a firearm. But you know, still, all things are lawful, but all things are not expedient. Why would you do that? You're going about to establish your own righteousness, man. Right? And you may say that we're defending ourselves. And, and, and the defense is going to be and you don't have to defend yourself against me, but I got the right to say something about it if I want to. Problems such as difficulty attending it to instruction, focusing on schoolwork, keeping up with assignments, following instructions, completing tasks, and social interaction. And I see a lot of Israelites with that problem. You know, you're supposed to diffuse situations, not make them worse. Like the scriptures say, you're supposed to spit on a spark, not blow it and make it increase. And with all the negative attention that we've been receiving why would it be a good idea to even put this up and, and by the way i gotta go <clears throat> the video was entitled uh <laughs> wild west whitey slow on the draw that's what it's entitled matter of fact i'm actually gonna bring that page up show the title of the video was from uh sakari phoenix wild west whitey too slow on the draw and it's just just a bad, just not not a good thing, man. Not a good look, not a good thing, you know. But it is what it is, and it's got 1,400 views. And somebody like Vocab Malone is just dying to get a hold of this type of footage so that he can paint us all as terrorists, man. You Jakes ain't even thinking about that. And like I was, you know, going into, man, this, this doggone guy, man, a couple of... Some of the things that I saw in the video was from the from the get go. I mentioned it from the get go. And let's go back a bit. From the opening of the video, the guy was cussing these brothers out walking by. And look at that. The man wasn't even a threat. 
You incited it by pushing it. Let's go back. You incited that by pushing the pushing the guy, man. You didn't have to push him. See, all he do, he was just getting a little bit aggressive, but he had his hands behind his back. And he never approached you, brothers, man. You pushed him, and everybody reaches for their heat, man. And any one of you guys could have easily beat the shit out of that dude. Plus, he was drunk on top of that, man. And like I said, another, a couple of issues that I had with the video from the beginning was, you guys said, you never told, you never told a man, he said he was Irish on his mother's side and on his father's side. You never told a man that a lot of the Irish go back to the Israelites. You never told him that. You immediately assumed he was an Edomite. Uh, number one thing that you said from the beginning is after we keep the commandments, then we go back into the kingdom. That's not true. Or that we go into the kingdom. That's not true. We go into the kingdom once the elect is sealed and then, you know, all the prophecies are fulfilled. It has nothing to do with keeping the commandments. And you can see these guys, man, they're just some carnal young dudes, man. Attention deficit disorder. Now, and let me just say this. I know for hundred percent that these and you know the real attention deficit disorder, these brothers don't have that. I'm just saying you need attention so bad. It's like everybody is packing heat. What's this guy come in for? Everybody reach for their weapons, man. That's just bad. It's just bad, bad. All around bad. And I want to show you here if I didn't show this already. Because I can't remember. This brother over here. Let's play a little further. This brother over here in the black, he got his weapon out. See? And that's what it's all about, man. Jake just wanted you to love to pop off and show that you're tough. Right? You love to 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 uh garner attention for yourself by marching, by these gimmicks, these different antics. And that's not what the truth is about. All the Lord told us to do was preach the gospel. He didn't say do all these antics and gimmicks, man. He didn't say do all of that. See here? You're fully assembled like you're about to go out and do war, man. We're supposed to be better than that. We're supposed to be better than that. Let's just read a few more scriptures here and shut it down. Romans 8, verse 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. And I would say, definitely, assembling all together and going out to try to show your power and your force by your numbers, that's of the flesh. You're doing that to establish your own righteousness, man. You want to appear righteous. You want to go out there, yeah, we're going to show our people that we care. Well, your people is only supposed to be the elect. The one third. Don't let a Christian fool you because we are not Christian. The black man is not a Christian. It's just ridiculous, man. Jake got, you know, and I'm saying in a, in, a, in, a, in a form, you got attention deficit disorder, man. You fail to follow instructions because all you're supposed to do is just preach the gospel. When did, in the scriptures did the Lord ever say, assemble yourselves together and go out and show a force to try to show people that you deep? Like, I mean, as far as numbers. To show people that you're organized. When did, when did the Lord ever say do that, man? And he damn sure never wanted one of his men while you preaching in the ministry to go out there and pack heat, man. And really just being bullies. And you was going off in doctrine even. See that? You basically incited that, man. You guys going off. This whole thing was just, just, just a fucking bloody mess. It stunk. It stinks and it stunk. And you being enemies of the Most High because you guys are in the flesh, man. This is 2 Corinthians 6 and 3. And before we read that, let's hit this Romans 10 and 4. It says this, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the, put, through the, uh, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach, man. And having in readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. And that's why we tell Jake constantly that you shouldn't be out there packing heat, man. And you damn sure shouldn't get to a situation where everybody in the camp gonna reach for their weapon, man. You all guys brandish weapons. In the hands of our enemies, 
this is the wrong type of thing, man. Really, it's, it's wrong for the younger brothers and sisters that's coming up in the faith to even see that. This is 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 1. We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of the Most High in vain. For he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. And, you, and this is an offense. This is ridiculous. This is fleshly. It's carnal. You're trying to come off as tough. Right? And then you was going off in doctrine. And this is just a stinking mess. A lot of you Israelites have attention deficit disorder, man. It's just fucking ridiculous. It ought to never be done. But in any in any event, what can you expect? They're only going to do what their leaders do. Right? Let me see here. In any way, you're not supposed to be, you know, uh, there's so many things I could say, but I'm not I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna read this. This is uh 1 Thessalonians 5:22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And when you got three guys, four or five guys, everybody packing heat, all reaching for their weapons against one drunk Edomite. Right? Just for shits and giggles. Just to appear tough. That is an appearance of evil, man. That's an appearance of evil. It, it, it's just off. It's off, man. And then on top of that, dudes lined up, beard lined up, hair lined up. It's just off. But whatever, man. At the end of the day, you see it. You brothers and sisters out there, wise up. Watch out for these, these different Israelite groups. We told you. All Israelites are not the same, man. You got a lot of Israelites out there with attention deficit disorder. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.